Today, we're gonna build a frame using bridal joints. Instead of traditional miter joints, we're gonna take the joinery uh, a little bit more interesting and make these relatively easy to make but super strong bridal joints, which I think look very nice. Hi, I'm Lynn, girl in the shop, and this is the Darwin Orbit channel. I put up weekly creative woodworking videos, so please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Now let's get building. I started out with ripping a three quarter inch piece of cherry on the table saw to one inch pieces. I also cut some quarter inch strips. Bridal joints are very strong because you have long grain to long grain glue connection. They're typically used on cabinet doors and in full size room doors. And they're often overlooked, I think. However, they're really strong. Like with all joints, you have to carefully lay out your lines. I set a 3 8 inch tenon. You're basically cutting the tenon on one side and the mortise on the other. You want them relatively tight fitting and they go through all the way, as opposed to traditional mortise and tenon joinery. Now people usually make those to hide the joinery. But I like the fact that here they're visible and you can see how the joint is made. Now when I first thought about building a frame, I was thinking of miter joints, which are standard. However, most miter frames are only connected with staples in the back and I really wanted something stronger. And, you know, something a little more interesting. So then I thought about bridal miter joints first. But after doing some tests, I realized that they are kind of tricky to get perfect. And I mean, you really want them to be very sharp. And I didn't want this frame to take forever, so then I thought maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to go with straight bridal joints. And the more I thought about this, the more I really liked this idea. Because it reminded me a lot of the craftsman style, which is simplistic and functional, yet quite beautiful. So that's the perspective I took. Of course, you don't have to do this by hand. I mean, you could totally set up a jig on the table saw and cut these much faster and more accurately. And that would be a great idea if you wanted to build a lot of these and faster. But for example, I mean, I was building one frame. So in that case, it's really, you know, even faster to do it by hand than to set up a, a whole jig. And, and I just think it's really fun and, and quite good practice too. Once I had my joints cut, I secured the poster to a foam board, which I trimmed to size. Then I glued the frame together, making sure to get good contact everywhere. And I clamped it down so it would dry straight. In order to hold the picture in place, I cut the quarter inch strip that I ripped previously to fit inside the frame, just meeting with simple butt joints. I glued them in place to create a lip, which the picture could lean against. Now to create a smoother edge, I used my new tiny plane and chamfered the edges leaving a 2 inch space on the end so as to not affect the joint. Then I glued them in place and secured them with masking tape, which works as a clamp. It's a great idea when you need clamping power but you have no way to fit a clamp on it. Then once it had dried, I sanded everything. So for the finish here, again, since this is really nice wood, I didn't want to mess it up by giving it too strong of a finish. So I went to my old favorite, my wax and linseed oil polish, which uh, just adds smoothness and gives a little bit of protection and really just lets the wood uh, shine through. To secure the picture in the frame, I just put on some hot glue and that keeps it in place just fine. To create a hanging system, I decided to just put in two screws, tie a piece of twine, and then it's ready to hang on the wall. Of course, that's an option here because it's really quite light and there's no glass to weigh it down. This is a map of the southern Willamette Valley in Oregon uh, of wine country. There are a lot of really great wineries here. And this is a gift for a family member who really is into wine. And I thought, what better to make than a nice 
frame to go with that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my DIY wipe on poly hack, which is my latest video on Darby Notes, uh, where I put up uh, shop updates, behind the scenes stuff, and even some projects that don't make it to the main channel. Uh, well, I'm happy about this uh, project here. It was a really fun build. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Darwin Orver and uh, check me out on social media for more frequent updates. Thank you. Bye.